Today on the Topic Show, Trump doubles his support of African Americans in a recent poll. Biden proposes moving marijuana from a Schedule 1 to a Schedule 3. Walmart stock hits $500 billion in value while Wayfair opens their very first brick and mortar. Ida says rats have rights while New York Mayor Eric Adams declares that he hates them. San Francisco police to stop sharing mugshots to combat racism. And GM and LG to pay Chevy Bolt owners about $150 million in damages due to the batteries issues. All of that and much more on The Topping Show. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of The Topping Show is probably sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special purpose to IT security. Heck, I see their founder at least twice today. Gotta say he's quite handsome and brilliant. Peace, me, you see, that's the joke. If you're an IT leader or a business owner, you can reach out to the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, going over to the business part podcast, you have Walmart stock hitting $500 billion, which is quite a pretty penny to say the least. Well, granted, more like a vintage penny since modern pennies are 99.99% zinc and just simply copper plated, which means they're, you know, basically useless in terms of the metal. But I partially digress. This is brought to us thanks to Emma Thorne over at LinkedIn News. They note that Walmart's market values topped $500 billion. When it hit a record at $64.22 per share last Thursday, they note that their e-commerce rose 22% in the first quarter, which is phenomenal because, again, e-commerce is a huge, there's a lot less overhead in terms of, obviously, you know, brick and mortar, you have to pay for heating, cooling, electricity, internet. There's a lot of overhead costs when it comes to actually having a head over, or a ceiling over your head, something to that effect. But Walmart is trying desperately to convey Amazon, which is a 500-pound gorilla in the room. And they dominate pretty much e-commerce bar none for every category that they want. The only exception I could think of that Amazon doesn't win yet is selling ammo and firearms, which for now is a huge third is a huge community of companies that do do that. Let me know in the comments what's like what's one product category that Amazon has not already taken over the market in terms of e-commerce. But I partially digress getting back on point. You have Walmart trying to combat more and more against Amazon where they actually bought out jet.com a couple years ago to bolster Walmart's e-commerce platform. And they've been building that more and more, and they're sure they're hoping that people are buying not groceries on that because again, groceries are terrible business-wise. It's about two percent profit margin for the industry average at the end of the day, which is again quite abysmal to say the least. Now they also note that their volume beat out store pickup for the first time. I mean, actually, let me reset that sentence. Quote: E-commerce rose twenty-two percent, and delivery volume beat out store pickup for the first time. A convenience factor that's attracting a new fan base of higher-income customers. Still, Walmart's decade-long tenure as the country's biggest company by revenue could be at risk. Amazon did also see a 12% increase in revenue from last year, doubling Walmart's 6% increase. So not great. Yeah, I mean, again, it's good news for both companies. They're both growing. So, I mean, <laughs> one of those things for both companies, the glass is more than half full in that regard. And again, I don't give financial advice on the show. The only advice I usually give is say, if you really want to gamble, you know, I would say invest in yourself by learning a new trade or starting a business, which... Very high risk, but pretty high reward and a lot of stress, but you learn a lot of life lessons. And I mean, personally, I wouldn't have it any other way, but a partial digress, when it comes between the battle between Amazon versus Walmart, at the end of the day, one of the biggest convenience for Walmart is going to be their infrastructure. And how can they, but Amazon also has a shipping warehouse all over the US. I wonder, at the end of the day, how many people would really prefer to go to a store? I mean, do you? I have... The one cliche thing I've heard, which I kind of agree with myself, is one of the reasons I choose to go to an extra brick and mortar to get groceries is I know I can find the best produce, the best apples, the best carrots, that the one, aka the ones without bruises, the ones that are actually, you know, they look delicious. And granted, I mean, it's all weighted by volume with the exception of certain products like the cucumbers and their lemons. There are a couple of things where you pay just per unit, but usually it's when I say per volume, you just usually pay per pound in terms of the weight of the produce. But... Yeah, I mentioned that's another reason I, I love self checkouts. One, I can do it faster than an average employee, and two, I'm not slamming my food down, which I don't think I've had a, I don't think I've done checkout in a decade because of that very issue of you have an employee at the store scan your produce that you you so specifically chose, a, a scan it just throw it down, not on the ground, but still it's in the little well, little small plastic bag that just hits the little table, 
and your heart just breaks a little bit seeing that. You're like, I just picked out the perfect apple. You have no idea how many apples I'd go through to get that. And you destroyed all my work. But I partially digress. I'm only partially kidding. But let me know in the comments. Do you think, will Walmart eventually acquiesce or will they continue to just dominate when it comes to the grocery category? And do you think they'll ever shift to the point where over 50% of their sales comes from e-commerce and they slowly become more and more like Amazon? They focus more on delivery logistics. As always, it'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.